Lots of people think that you have to be an artist to create a beautiful cake design. Not true. Even if you can't draw, you can still create a gorgeous design with the help of rubber stamps. In this video, I'll show you how. I'm starting with a cake that I've covered in fondant and I've doweled the cake in preparation for the tier that I'm going to stack on top later, but I'm not going to stack them until I'm done with my stamped design. When stamping on a cake, you can really use any kind of stamp that you like. The traditional wooden mount ones are fine, but these flexible plastic ones make it easier to move around corners and edges. This is a food safe stamp that I picked up specifically for this design. But no matter what kind of stamp you use, be sure to always use a clean stamp and never use a stamp that you've used before with ink. You always want to have one set just for cake decorating. To start my design, I'm going to dip the foam craft brush into some gel food coloring and brush it onto the stamp. This is the best kind of color to use for this technique because it's stickier than the water-based food color that you find in the supermarket. You just want to apply the color to the raised areas of the stamp and make sure you get a good, nice coat. You want enough gel on the stamp so that the design transfers cleanly, but not so much that it smudges. I'm going to start stamping on the top of my cake. Later on, this will be covered up by my next tier of cake, so this is a great place to start so you can get a good feel of how much pressure you need to get the design applied to the cake. So I'll apply the stamp face down. You want to apply enough pressure so that the design completely transfers, but not too much. You don't want to pierce the fondant. I'm now going to repeat this pattern around the cake, reloading my stamp with color each time. If you miss a spot with your stamp, you can go back in with a paintbrush and fill in any lines. If your stamp starts to get overloaded with paint, just wash it off and dry it completely before coming back to the cake. Now that I've finished the stamped pattern on the bottom tier of my cake, I'll move on to my round cake, which I'll stamp in the same way. Now stamping on a square cake is easier because you have flat surfaces to work with. When you're working with a round cake, you want to roll the stamp around the side of the cake, just sort of rocking it back and forth and applying pressure. Once you've finished your stamping, allow the stamps to dry completely before stacking your tiers. Now we can go in and add some color. I'm just using a small paintbrush and more gel food coloring. And go back in and add a few brush strokes of color. You can fill in your design completely or just do a few strokes for more of a watercolor effect. Try not to load the brush with too much gel color. It's always easier to add more paint than to take paint away.